Hello and welcome to the Pirate King Plays The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Blood and Wine Expansion. The last we left our hero, we uh, did a bunch. As you can see, he completed the giant statue of Leviota. Um, and we, uh, because we were going through as many side quests as we can, we started doing a bunch of stuff in the north here, which we, which was the area we had missed, pretty much. I tried doing Wine Wars Coronada to let us here. However, or not Coronada, uh, Belgard. However, that requires two other quests, which at that point would normally start. Wine Wars Vermentino and Wine Wars Cor Coronada. Vermentino being unlocked over here and Coronada being over here. Um, but as it happens, I had already completed all of the objections for Wine Wars Vermentino. So that one automatically won and it just ended the quest right there. Not supposed to happen. So we're going to do everything up here first to make sure we have everything done for Coronada. Including something that's unlocked here. And I think unlocked over here as well. Um, is that right? I think that is the other place where we can unlock over here. Um, but just to make sure we do everything, I'm doing everything. Including all this. And I've already told you what this is. It's the uh, last Hansa. And then once all that's done, we'll head back here. Oh, that and the other quest that will lead us all the way down here. I might actually go do that first. Um, no, no, not first, not first. I'm looking at our weight, we got 191, so I don't really need to turn stuff in yet, but we will soon. Um, so I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go here, get coin doesn't stink done on our way up to here. Then maybe go off and do some stuff here, including this very specific quest. But we won't go all the way up there yet, because we can take a little bit more time. Um, but this has something for us. So. This first. That's what I was thinking. Hmm. Maybe I'll, uh... I'll, I'll make sure that I get, uh, I, I go and sell stuff first so I have the room of I wonder if I can get a loan from Cianfinelli, and if I were to put up my wife as surety. Did you just say you were going to get a loan? This one we gotta finish first as well. Um, we also have the tournament. I almost forgot about that. This is what we're gonna sell. That will lead us uh, up there, as I said. First. Perish yourself. You knit color. Vampires go on a dusty trail. Oh, how boring they will. I never knew vampire exterminations could be so hard. A lot of people talking about vampires now since the whole city was a What even? I didn't even see that come out. Show me what you got. I 
got my revive there. Arcaspores will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Oh. This whole thing has to do with their their uh, um, both of their vineyards being sabotaged. I thank you for the rescue. You're one fine fellow, Witcher. Both both of their vineyards were being sabotaged by Arthas. Someone was planting them. But uh, once we get these side quests done, the story mission is on its last legs. So we may. Oh, hi. Just, just on a hilltop. <laughs> just a bunch of Indrega on a hilltop. Okay, my revive off again. Didn't notice I was taking that much damage. I looked and saw that happen. Adrenaline and I get killed. Have I been? Oh, it is Mark. Got that. Yeah, I read that literally last stream. Sworn something just flew overhead. those traitors were murdered. You know, we can probably still kill the bad guys. May have been a little close. It wouldn't matter, wouldn't matter morally for the quest anymore. Van, you know I like you, but un unlike the rest of this lot, you've got a good head on your shoulders. This thing about a panther. Seriously, lad, you've adopted a diddling panther? A few of our men came back to camp with their bums so bitten off that doo doo standing up for weeks. And the very thought of going back on patrol as I'm shaking so hard, they seem their seams burst. This can't go on. Heard you've been you've been going. Heard you've been go you've even gone so daffy as to give it a name. Hobbs the Panther? <laughs> Galvin! <laughs> Galvin and Hobbs, that's great. We just killed Hobbs. But Hobbs killed pa Hobbs killed Calvin, so. You're completely off your nut, aren't you? Now concentrate, because I don't feel like repeating this. The lad who bought who brought you this letter is carrying a hefty coin pouch. That's the lion's share, no bleed and pun intended, of the loot for a last job. 
pouch is yours, but you take that overgrown kitty somewhere out in the wilderness and slit its throat. Simple enough. For the sum you're getting from me, you'll buy yourself two, plu two pure-blooded greyhounds so we can forget the whole thing. That's me being generous. Don't make me change tactics. Oh, wait, that was Stragon. Shit, I had a voice for him. I'll, I'll use the correct voice next time. That's fucking hilarious, though. Good job, Calvin. Also, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't, like, give it Tiger Stripes. Or some sort. Calvin with a uh, with a exclamation point like that that needs to be yelled and there's definitely a voice that goes with that. But the voice I was thinking of apparently was Alvin, you know, of Chipmunks fame. Yep, I was. north in search of herbs for a new flavored wine. Well, suddenly... Calm down. It's over. The bank titlers kidnapped me in hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm free and safe thanks to you. Should you need any herbs, I have a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you work me there? I would, but I want to loot these guys. Need to look around here some more, but I'll be sure to stop by if I'm ever in the area. I shall be waiting. Grab Liam's herbalist. He can take care of shit without you having to walk. You grow alone to like some more herbs. What's this up? You have a funny face, don't you? They, lot, they have a lot of interesting. Uh, more down there. I have to know. Can 
I swim across? Because those statues are intense. What are they? Just rock pillars? Or actual statues? Or, or what? at the map. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let me swing it. I know you don't want me to swim across. Four enhancements from sleeping with the pen at uh, um, Corvo Bianco. One we still have, which came from the bed specifically, which is Vitality Boost. That's good. The other is a Horse Stamina Boost from the Stables. A uh, Experience Boost, which is from the Bookshop. Must be Delaunay's residence. side. That is just fun. Let's ride. I'll see you in purgatory. Cutthroat snitches. It's a witcher. Bulldoze through them. It simply cannot. Oh, let me his wounds. Calm down. It's over. I thank you, sir. And you must forgive me my momentary loss of composure. Are you in need of accoutrements, monsieur? There's a skeleton over there. Villa looks abandoned. You its owner? More its temporary steward. By order of the Treasury Minister, I am to serve as caretaker of Count Deloni's properties and estates. The Count is missing. Yet, no one at the palace warned me. Villa fit at this the lair of bandits. That is to say, it was, but is no more. Thanks to your heroism, Monsieur Witcher. And my just. Fucking buzzsaw tactics with the sword. What do you have that you're willing to sell?
haven't looked up the actual Though they're usually either one or two in the sky, so Thanks. So long. Oh, it, the way it ended the battle, it didn't realize the battle ended. Excellent. Excellent. Stragon. What was my Stragon voice? Elvin. Sam Quill per pusher from her group. Her grease, the Duncessa's court, has been sniffing around the villa of the dead. Don't reckon I need to explain why I don't like that, eh? Or how much? You're to find this clerk and kill him. Burn the building. Anyone in there with him, the noose. No raping, no impaling. Keep it simple. And head back to the Arthatch, ru to the Arthatch ruins quick, because I got another job. I probably should have looted the place before selling that. The real fake doors tell me they're fake. I get to go in any of these doors? Uh, ask and answer. <clears throat> Dear Bartolome, I've received your letter and I'm delighted you've found a solution to your problems. The witch you described does indeed seem dangerous. You yourself always told me they are all freaks and cold-hearted murderers. But despite all that, I think you should agree to his offer. Those diagrams truly do outline revolutionary new methods in honest weapon. Not only will you be able to complete the contract a grace has given you, but you will also earn a great deal of glory for yourself. And that, I know, is what you value above all else. Go into the bandits who dwell in the ruins at Arthash Palace. Their protection is a wise move. Wise move. If the knights could get the best of them, the Witcher will also feel duly proud in their presence. Another tale of a life compromised and ultimately claimed by greed and ambition. So, yeah, that means we actually do have to clear the uh, um, the the Hansa base. Get the rest of these. I didn't expect that. Specifically, the Wolven Gear.
better reason to go there than we already have. Um, however, we are too close to awaken. So I think... Oh, no, there, there's another fast travel around here, I think. But also two things right near. First of all, I'm gonna sell any more. Hail, sir! Do you require anything? What do you have? That We just got all this shit just from a simple looting exercise. Thanks. So long. All the way there. Oh, geez, look at this guy. I think he was used for target practice. Though, probably after he died. to nowhere. Got in the way. His nail. Ah, poison got him. Death comes for you this day. There we go. Okay, and there's the marker for the. I was able to sell some stuff for that guy. So I don't think <laughs> this haunts us mighty odd. All these grizzled men with hard eyes, lads with hundreds of murders under their belts. Near half of them sit around all evening scribbling in a journal or writing letters. Where'd all these blessed scholars come from? My lord managed to beat letters into my head before I seduced his daughter and he chased me off. But some, someone like Sylvian Blacktooth? Sylvain Blacktooth? How can he master the art of writing while traveling with a circus since we've been dung from the cages? Lately, I was sitting guard with three other lads, and instead of sipping on wine, potting into the fire, normal stuff, they all sat there quietly jotting things into their notebooks. What really scares me is maybe Starling Stragon likes the company of literates of this sort. I'm gonna have to start a journal myself.
another place nearby, but we did that first. It's like going down this way. Um, if we did that first, we would be over this way. So right now, I was I was hoping to go in there. I was hoping to get all the diagrams. We may do Deus in the Machina first. Oh, oh wait, no, that is the... a hero. Keep calm. Greetings. I hope your search goes well. What do you have on offer? Running low? How do you know? Also, he refreshed his stuff. Okay, so I think that's all I can sell him. So we're just trading back and forth, really. Still has over 10,000. Cool, cool, cool. Um, oh, wait, no. The past. We just have a massive trade plan with this guy. Keep calm. And, uh, Start no brawls. Not daytime, so. Ah. So I didn't. Do it. Tony messing everything up. The, the, the bank may just be. Not to be missed. Buy your tickets now. Go back to the app. So I do want to, yeah, I want to go to Corvo Bianco first. Else is 60 minutes, but this will clear the upper vitality in case this part is close to us. Yeah, shouldn't. 
shouldn't take it with me now, should I? Why is there why is there a banshee here? Giving me no choice. Else knows the screen go weird. Place oh. mentioned in the note. Arcaspore saplings are somewhere around here. of stock taking despite Arceus for hatchery code name mushroom farm notation written in the commissioner of stock taking count vladimir crespi there's a b we've seen in the notes vladimir really stock under review vespi and arceus for bulbs number six dormant bulbs 24 dormant buds not without uh, without sprouts changes in plus stock taking Tino on count based on sprouts. Larger amounts in Portman. Some bulbs are now too mature to be sent to transformer and should be burned. Otherwise, they'll sprout in the hatchery. Interesting. Arcaspore saplings? It takes a degenerate to cultivate something like this. I need to incinerate them before they spew spores and spread. that allows us to do this and tell them, hey, this is what actually happened. Um, question is, do I do that first or do I do this first? Um, I'm going to do this first. Because I'm going to be back in 
the city for other things. All of them. Arcaspore saplings? Takes a degenerate to cultivate that something like this. Thing, Need to incinerate them before they spew spores and spread. That was all of them, yes. Just in case there were spores around. Spores, are they actually fungi? They didn't look like fungi. I First, I want to get this first. But there's also something right next to this. The bandit camp we did when we were over here, I think, is Show me what you got. Oh, dogs. With your bow, you don't get to use that. Just fucking funny. You dare to kerfluffle me? Me? The the D-pad on the controller. Um, right is draw or sheath the silver sword, and left is draw or sheath the steel sword. Sometimes I forget what they are. What is your mother? Yeah, mother, forgive me for fleeing without saying a word, but you know if father learned of my intentions, he would sooner break my knees than allow me to leave. You must understand, the life of a village scribbler is not for me. I do not want to end up like father, uh, spending my entire life hunched over tomes and slowly losing my eyesight during days and nights spent in dark offices. I want to live a life of adventure. So, so, perhaps one day I'll visit you, my darling mother. mother. Uh, meanwhile... Me, no health and happiness. to go in. Where are we? Yeah, no. No choice. Doing this first. 
And the camp Delaney wrote about. Gotta be. You'll never know. Dogs. Take him alive. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nope, that's just feathers. Come on, finish off. They finish that one off. While in the water, smart idea with that. Apparently, block dogs. Circle him. Circle Who's whistling? How's that for a bolt in your ass? Fine explodes. Already reloaded, girl. Guess not. people here that's that's not a that's not a question now I get to loot everyone else oh look an explosive out here look look on the mini map there look at how many people we just killed and dogs Identical, hold on. Not on. Okay. We separated them whether or not they had tooth marks on them. Yeah, 
I was outside the circle. How did we even end up over here? Huh. Not me in the small enclosed area that you can't shoot at me from. Down here. Now. Else, die in the same place as that guy. Yep, stack the body. Hammers here too. I take him from the left. My goodness, how I enjoy a good bug punching. Organizational chart for Antoine Stalin. Oh, hi. Things are related. You're gonna make me wait. There we go. That worked. Probably the final one. Final one. Oh, you're all 
dragon. I'll diddle you with your own dinkling. No, him. Thinking this over stalling and wait, what was the voice I was fucking using? It, it was a high pitch one, it was a high pitch one, I know that. Maybe it was something like this. Taking this over Salamander Inn did a lot to relieve the tense atmosphere. Things had already relaxed a bit in the swamp because a good number of our men went off on assignment. But our haunts is so bum hugging huge, the ruins of Palace Arthas still look like a bleeding bazaar. Man can't even empty his bowels in privacy. Top it off, my bones ache to high heavens from this humidity, and even wenches can't warm me up properly. Need to look around for something. Fast, before the good men from the last raid uh, the good mood from the last raid fades completely and folks get ornery. This time we need to hit something big. Thinking more and more about that vineyard to the south, Coronada. It'd do perfectly. Worth sending some scouts, maybe plan start planning a big job. Ah, I can get straight out time with the lads. Every uh, every other one of uh, Every other one of them hit some upon hit upon the idea of scribbling down memoirs. Regular bloody a bunch of I a bunch of literati. Should take to practicing swordplay or hunting instead of becoming diarists. Keep a log. That's enough. To, or, or I keep a log. That's enough for the whole lot of us. I'll whip one or two of them harlot's fruits, dry my dare, wipe my derriere with their diaries, and maybe the rest of them will get down some honest banditry. Okay, that's that's actually very. It wasn't. It was a bug, not a feature. There's that one more assuming bandit camp up top. Stragglers or stragons going in. Witcher, a, a moment of your time, may I? Just must update a for hire. Night returned from his days at war. Yeah, that. Yet the less of his no more to be found. Well, well. Starling Strakenoff, House Palm Titled Harlitzbrut, has bit the dust. <laughs> May he rest in pain and agony. You've earned yourself a steep price cut here, Witcher. Stragon. Name's familiar. Ran into him a while back. What's this? He, he must have been a horrible hound shacker. Decent folk don't bear that name. Can't say if that's true for all the Stragons, but this one sure wasn't What's decent. This guy? Met a bad end, too. Justly so. You carved up the knob copper. I knew it. Colorful language. Druids did it for me, actually. Burned him alive. Oh, <laughs> lovely, lovely. Must have been a previous game. Show me what you have on offer, will you? Journey.
See you later. Kesha summoned and you came. Iron lungs to be red hot. Yeah, we still need to explore this world. Decent. Seems I'm still hungover. You witcher! Where were you when the vampires came to gut us? Fighting them! Did y'all not remember that? Oh, here they are. Turned every stone! Found every bit, every diagram we can. <sighs> All went off without a hitch. Bartolome Delaunay proved a Ponzi fool, just like I thought. Witcher fell right into our trap, too. Put too much stock in his skills that we could handle, and thought he could handle anything. First, we acted like bored thugs, just picking our noses and waiting, our, waiting for our pay. When Delaunay and the Witcher finally came to terms, the Witcher let slip he was hiding the rest of the diagrams in the pits of broom. Dangerous place. Yeah, but maybe we'll find some safe route to the Witcher's cache. One bolt back, one bolt from the black to. One bolt from the black. Dark. Took care of Delon A. Uh, expecting more trouble from the Witcher, so we hit him with a couple. Good thing too, because he still had a good heap of life in him, though he couldn't get up from, couldn't get up from his belly. I'll let the lads check how much of a pain the Witcher can stomach. They earned a bit of recreation after the fine job they'd done. We grabbed the coin to A and soon went off to the pits of broom, get those precious diagrams, so... Witcher oh. and armor both had shit luck. <clears throat> right? Having your hunt for a master two line gear complete! We will do that once we're back in the city. This first. This is also back in the city. Went there once, got paid for I think seven of them. Why be so hard? Oh. I've worked up quite the appetite. And when we go back to the city. Magic. Ooh. A place of power. Would have been nice to have found this first. Oh, it is protected. I think that's a white. It just summoned the Bargus? Ragdolled. Very nice. Yeah, and the Vargas was part of it. Well, we got that far. They gave us one of these. It would actually be closer to hit the edge of the map then. All right.
placed the first bid. But I made the best offer. Mademoiselle, monsieur, we must remain. For four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. This vineyard, Belgard, why is it so valuable? <laughs> You are not from here, it certainly shows. Before Count Crespi fell prey to the beast, Belgard belonged to him. As a man of wealth and influence, he guided it to immense success, brought in rare grape varieties, hired skilled workers. I shan't trouble you with unnecessary details. Suffice to say that merging Belgard with another vineyard is a sure recipe for success. One and the same man caused Coronada's and Vermentino's problems. There we Got go. Proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Belgard's erstwhile owner? Why, that's impossible. Got it all here, in writing. He did, indeed, have motive. He knew well his own vineyard could not survive if Vermentino and Coronata were to join forces. Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Incredible! You mean to say it... it wasn't Liam? And I was certain my troubles were Matilda's doing. <clears throat> In light of new evidence, uh, the most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Wait just a minute. Do you mean to suggest we're to cooperate? It's the optimal solution, yes. Mm. In terms of the health of the Enterprise as well. Hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this. But I do believe he's right. Perhaps it is time to bury the hatchet. Three vineyards are more than one. Yep. There's much to be gained. So be it. That's not all. The troubles at your vineyards? Solve them. You can go back to operating normally now. Splendid news. I'm relieved to see you hired a professional, especially one whose aid might still prove invaluable. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Follow me. It's I high heard. time you saw Belgard. Witcher. Come with us, please. Something tells me we'll have tasks for you yet. Tended to Belgard's problems. Vineyard should be in as good a shape as ever. Splendid. And thus, officially, by uh. the power vested in me, I grant you title to the Belgard Vineyard, and trust that you shall make good use of its grounds and resources. Excellent. Ah, oh, I can already smell <laughs> the great ripening already. of the sun. We shan't forget what you did for us. Here. Your pay. You. But that's not all. You must come back and see us shortly. We've a surprise in store for you. I'll do that. Farewell. Okay. So we just get nine. So the thing is, if I had done that before start, before doing any of their stuff, and gotten through uh, bo both of their respective quests, and like actually uh, bartered for how much I was getting paid, I probably could have gotten nearly 3,000. Um, but we got 900, which I don't think is the, the full amount. I think there will be. Please, Please don't amazing. bother me. I'm busy. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chains. So it's wait three days. All right. We can do that. Uh, not gonna give me a Is Belgium. I'm not actually sure the location. We're not a here. You can see all the fields. Fermentino here, which is.
Belgard. It's all the way down here. Wow, yeah, we saw, saw Belgard stuff a long time ago. Huh. Okay. Yeah, well, our next thing to do is actually go back to Corvo Bianco. Wait out maybe two days there, um, but we're going to grab the armor we need to uh, Grandmaster. I'll, I'll get this cracked, I think. Oh, wait. While we're there, we should do this. And probably this. Yeah, we, we can do everything. Still hilarious to me. Alright, let me just do everything first. time and get it to an actual distance as well. You can only do 23 hours at a time. A plea from her illustrious. Greetings. What do you have on offer? Go. 
You have made all the sets except for the silver swords. Farewell. Some good luck on the path. Be good enough to wear. Let's wear it. I think it has a hood. I don't like the hood. Not a bad looking set, though. I do like the dark blue. But I think it looked better before. It looks good in red. Requests shall be dealt with in due course and in the order submitted. Stop the count. Scribes will be available for the past. And Reginald I guess the Gwent Dolphrey tournament. Returned, not to be missed. Buy your tickets now. Available. See if we can get in the bank. Need to come back during the day. It is 7 a.m. Oh. and sunny. Back in a few hours or so. I do what they paid me to do. That's it. Everyone's out and about repairing things. The attack. Hundred forty three carry the two. Greetings, Knight. My clerks have brought word of heroic deeds on your part. Please accept this compensation for your toil, good sir. Hundred. It's a hundred each. And a new item received. Quest complete! Nice. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is. On. How have I still not read some of these? Oh! Experience from monsters and humans and non humans, and uh, bonus gold that is not comparable to the bonus gold you get from monsters. Interesting. I thought it was going to be something we could put up on our wall. I guess not.
There we go. It has them all lined up. 24 of them. Last Basilisk of its kind. A fairy mythology by Boris the Snowman. The Fortress of Duntal by the, by the Papillion. Is he the bard we helped before? I think it is. Here's the other entry for Piggy Moors. Okay. Me and my panther and I. Ah, okay, so that's on Pantherus. I figured there were bestiary entries from some of the titles I got here. Anti Flutter. Chronicles second amended edition. Not reading it. Uh, Wondrous World of Insectoids, a supplement. Cent giant centipedes. A code duello. Oh, uh, the dueling code. All of your catacans. Slizards. of research into Arceus Boards. Thoughts on Elven Architecture. Theory for Alps. Not the mountains. It's only the crux. Guide to Vineyards of Tucson. Do the Blesher Various customs of Tucson Spa. Where have all the good men gone? Hellhounds? Oh, I guess that would be, uh, Vargas. Went to history. Yeah, no, I guess it's just the, uh, the actual rules to play. Soundwave, back from Shale Mars. Or the Proto Flutter? Okay, that's all those. One, I can just. Oh, yeah. Letters I guess we never actually found any of them? Is that the only new one? If reading that stuff gave us any more information from the time that we were looking at it. Like, oh, they're also uh, vulnerable to a bomb, that sort of thing. Alright. Here they are. I'm trying to read them so they get in the, uh, in the journal. Waiting for that. Like this is the city. Also, is that just a plate of cupcakes or something? Pies? Just a plate of pies here? Alright, we're gonna have to talk to him again. Damn, that's
by the buildings? Might have been better before the attack. Not a bad shot. Wonder what for? There was a whole attack about it. That he was in danger. There is literally still blood on the ground. on the way. Might I glance at your deck? Sure. Here. An impressive array. Count Monnier waits inside. You may enter. Thanks. There you are. A pleasure to see you again. The Skellige faction, how do you find it? It's great. Faction's a pleasure to play. I'm glad to hear it. Any specific tournament rules? Mind giving me an overview? Firstly, might I introduce the contestants? Superb Gwent players all, hailing from the world's farthest corners. Hamal Ochen Dankbali, an Ophieri merchant. Eric van Frog, a patrician from Novigrad. And lastly, we are proud to welcome a Skelliger. Ye blind? Not Skelliger, Skelligirl, damn it! <laughs> Naturally, <laughs> wait, no wait! Agnetha Skolt, her effort charming isle temperament in evidence, along with assorted beats, baubles, ropes. As to the rules, they're simple. Each player adopts a faction they cannot change for the tourney's duration. Lose a match, and you're eliminated. The winner from among you shall advance to the semi-final to face the winner of the Tournay's previous edition, His Excellency the Ambassador of the Empire of Nilfgaard, Master von Hin. The winner of that match shall in turn face none other than me, your humble servant. Hands off our Gwent! No new fucking factions! We do have to win this one. Protesters have gathered outside. Quite a few, it seems. Hands off our bloody game! We didn't want any new factions! Money, you dozy cunt! Stop doubling with dwarven tradition! Change cannot always please everyone. Gwent traditionalists resent my efforts to expand the canon to include Skellige, but we shall pay them no mind. Mind telling me what factions the others will be playing? It is no secret. Eric van Frog will play the Northern Realms. His Excellency, in a flush of patriotism, chose Nilfgaard. Hamal Ochendangbali will play the Monster's deck, and Agnetha Skold has chosen Skoyatel. Yours truly, of course, shall await the winner with a Skellige deck. I'm determined to prove its value. Ready to start if everybody else is. I invite you to join me on the terrace. The Herald shall soon announce the tourney's start. Let See, the that's, tourney that's why we need begin. to win. 
Gotta get that thing. In round one, Agnetha Skult faces Eric Von Brog. And Geralt of Rivia plays Hamal on Gangbali. Let's grab a table. A wager would you wish to make? What did you have in mind? Weapons do I collect, and your sword of silver my eye has caught. Should I win, I should take it. Should I lose to you another equally precious, shall I give? So, yeah, we can we can bet our sword. And even if we lose, we get it back, but we do have to win. All right. So be it. Summons all shield maidens. Cool. Oh, yeah. Only allowed to play a skill. Right. Really? You got no heroes in this room? Well, I mean, except for Oh, dandelion, not bad. We do get two more. Okay, no, that's good. Okay, yeah, let's get those out of here. Use all your rally cards in the first round. Don't mind me. Dim Dimon Pirate here has Scorch. Kills the strongest cards on the battlefield. Either, if I play him now, because every card on the battlefield at the moment is a power of four. So either he kills himself, I don't know if it works that way, or he kills every card in the battlefield. I don't think I want to risk that. I don't think I want to risk that. Another decoy? Okay.
this, and you can back to me. I could play this. Four is Oh, I also have already. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna hope that you play something stronger than a six. What's that gonna do? What's that gonna do for you? All right. Now you, Olaf. Even though, okay, so you'd add one to everything, but I think the weather would actually get in the way of you adding it to this one. So we're gonna put you up here because I have dead. And I get a hundred and ten. Try beating that. Ah, just another storm. That's good. Big after last guy. Nothing? Excellent. Good match. Thanks. And upon your victory, congratulate I you. What drove me to wager a sword against you know I not? Clearly to guide me the universe ceased. Cool. Here, you may it serve well. I'd no, never have lost if you hadn't cheated. And my land, folk who slander like that don't live long, because we don't let them. Accuse me of cheating again, and I'll cut your tongue out. Enough. Hands to yourselves. As Gwent is a gentleman's sport, we expect all its players to demonstrate impeccable manners, and we cannot tolerate any disturbances. Thus, by decision of Count Monier, the contestants from Novigrad and Skellige are hereby disqualified. Do you have any sport. volume other than you? Well, I'm a lady, and we ladies don't give a flying fart about a tourney where any measly prick can accuse us of cheating. With round one completed, the standings are as follows. Agnetha Skolt and Eric Van Vrogh both disqualified. Geralt of Rivia has defeated Hamel Ongangvali of Ophir. In the semi-final, Geralt shall face the defending champion, Ambassador Von Hin. I am honored. Hey, no opportunity to save in between there, huh? Huh? All right. Maybe there is an auto save. Doesn't help. Okay, Marjo and Berserk. Good. From your opponent's discard pile? Jeez, that's a fucking big. Um.
Oh, I, you want me to win the first round. If I pass, you're just gonna keep playing. Very tempted to pass right now. Um. a bunch of He does have a Scorch! Oh! I just realized all my cards are the same value. Man. Still have a chance. Ah, fuck. I was an idiot who played my, all of my one Oh, and he threw something for me. Yeah. It seems you had a stroke of ill luck. Your Excellency played better, that's all. Okay. Continuing to play that. Okay. Okay with that. I have to win one other, which means I can go all out. He'd have to win twice.
he actually has death force. Probably does. However, there's still the last round. He has four cards left. We get value of ten. Oh, fuck you. It seems you had a struggle. I will be happy in this. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. All right. seem to use weather, but I don't trust that he won't have any. I'm realizing now that I don't That would be Unless are the shield maidens close combat? Shield maidens are not specific.
There we go. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, fuck you! Fuck you entirely! Should've known he'd still have that fucking scorch. Again? Two of them? That's just rude! I st <laughs> All my good combos! Countered! Ugh. Hoping he'd use a weather just so this All of my good moves! Countered! However, we're s we still have a lot. You had Olaf too? I thought that was Skellige only! Oh, fuck you! Who do we get back? See if your two cards can defeat. Oh, the fucking cow came back! Yeah, you can probably defeat a four. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker! So many good strategies! You had two Scorches! Why it's would you keep two of field. them? Motherfucker! I want to be done with Gwent! I fucking hate Gwent! <laughs> Game itself makes sense, but it's just not fun given the rest of the game. And sure, I would have to go back and and uh and play Gwent back in the main map to get that other quest, and I kinda just ignored it. Good, alright. Our drum And we got Saris again, very good. So, uh. Not, not the best. Last, last time was great. They'd done that and not included it in this game. Sure, it wouldn't be as popular. You're a stronger Olaf. you. Fuck you. That was a good move. Fuck you. Or Bovine Avenger then. Oh, oh. Ah. Ah. 
Oh, fuck you! Can make him play all of his cards, then we win. Really? Good weather. Okay. One more card. Really? Oh, I guess you would get the draw on that. But you're still gonna play them in an attempt to win and that means I win because Skellige's ability he's already passed but I get two cards which means I win automatically oh Your so good a pure pleasure to play you the pleasure was mutual I assure you congratulations Witcher stop desecrating Gwent love it yeah. To any at all new factions. Seems there's some trouble brewing. Scoot, Olius, off your asses and hide the Skellige. Yeah, I love it, seal slappers. Please remain calm and stop the verbal attacks. Stop your mum from fucking ferrets, Monier, and hands off our Gwent. Maybe instead of hollering threats, you ought to just explain what it is you want. We've said it plenty of times, yet no one ever listens. Got me listening. Gwent's an ancient pastime, as rules were set ages ago. Exactly. Determined in keeping with the laws of nature. There should be four factions. That is the optimal number. We'll not tolerate the introduction of any others. It would disgrace the tradition. Aye, leave our Gwent the fuck alone. Enough of this! Didn't come here to Java, but to break fucking heads in defense of tradition! Come on, lads! Uh, Alright, gonna fist fight some dwarves. Uh, how long are you gonna make me wait? Oh, wait, why are we fighting with our sword? I was expecting a fist fight. I came in with clubs, so we brought out our sword. Cooled you off a bit. Fuck. Seeing triple. Uh, quadruple, even. Enough. I shall summon the guard. I got this count. Sure, you can shut this tournament down, but there'll be another with who knows what new rules. If you don't like them, don't enter. Play somewhere else, however you want. But you'll never stop other folk from playing however they like. Bollocks! Like my good friend Zoltan Chive says, if one says you're talking bollocks, they could be right, they could be wrong. But if multiples say you're talking bollocks, well, you probably are. So let's take a vote. Who else here thinks I'm full of it? Zoltan Chive? Haven't seen that rascal in ages. <laughs> How's he doing? Wait. <laughs> Why are you giving me the opportunity to drink? Glad to tell you more over a flask of something strong. Attention, everyone! Our outing's taken a new turn. We're to sit and drink vodka with Zoltan's pal. Gentlemen, wait. We've still the final round of the tourney to play. Final? Fuck that! I, Yaki Raffiberg, to hereby declare my participation in this tournament. And I demand to play the victor. 
We'll settle whether this Skellige faction's worth a flaming bag of shit once and for all. Agreed, but please show some patience. We must first play a pre-final. <laughs> He's like, okay, I guess I'm not the final. Uh, it'll be it'll be you then. In but the, I still get to play. Uh, pre-final, <laughs> Count Monnier, representing the Skellige faction, shall face Geralt of Rivia, also paying with a <laughs> Skellige deck. Okay. My brother's dream has come true. Skellige in the final and played by both contestants. Good luck. Right. I have a skill. Both of you. Okay. Alright. Oh, wait. No, no, that is good. That is good. I'll use my own. I don't think I've ever had two berserkers in bar drum attack. You given up on this round? Might be given up on this round. Or it's it's a ruse. That's when I wish I had kept the decoy. They are back. Oh, don't worry. Just had that done to me, so haha. man has won, playing the best faction to boot. Thanks. Good game. Skellige won! What a bundle of pish! Tournament's not done! Now, at my turn. That is what we agreed. Let us resolve our differences here and now. Now to determine the ultimate victor! You have any Geralt other volume? Rivia, playing the Skellige faction, shall face Yaki Raffiberg, playing... Skyatel! Let the better man or dwarf win! Um 
better. Oh, you don't have any other dwarven skirmishers. I'm sorry, you passed already? Okay, I'll win the first round then. Boosted for the second when I can go all out. Very weird move. Did I trick the computer by... What, was he programmed to uh, wait until I play something where he's winning still? Oh, fuck you! Fuck you entirely! That ruined my strategy! Fuck! We're gonna have to redo this. Probably. Depends on what he can muster out of those three cards compared to my value of... Two! Oh, and I get to... Kept the Mardrome! Fuck! I didn't realize this was a possibility. Uh, it'd have to be this. When, God, oh, wow. All right. Wait, what? Hold on, I win? That is fucking hilarious. Good game. Bollock blasters. What hurts most is fucking skilling a one. But as they say, top shit. Congrats. Come on, lads. Let's get soused. No, you must stay, for I wish to treat you all to a tipple. We must toast the premier of the new faction. And if anyone wishes to play a friendly match with Gwent, I see no reason why not. All right, still Thank drinking, but we're here instead. Sure. Your treat. No problem. Had fun. I say so. You proved yourself a true Gwent master. Here, the grand prize. You earned it. Yeah, get our trophy. Got a sword out of this. Thank you very much, friends. Count. Thank you once more for deigning to take part in my little tournament. I hope we shall meet again. Who knows? Definitely Farewell. daytime when we start this. 
Must complete. Everything. Our knights. What are they? Chop liver. Okay. Done, done, and done. Let's see what we got here. Oh, and it's time. Just enough time passed. Where are we? What are we doing? Um, we could just run there. Summoning a witcher? Was that truly necessary? And our knights, what are they? Chop them. Watch my dog. Vampires. Real life. Flesh. Now the the brooks and apps are disguised themselves. One false move and you will regret it. of you to come. Matilda and I we've a surprise for you. Hmm. You two seem to be getting along. We are. There came a point we realized we had no grounds to quarrel. Things became altogether pleasant. And a uh. bit spicy. Romantic. Quite. Got it. <laughs> Needn't say more. Glad things are going well for you. So they had a whole family feud going on. Specifically because each one thought the other was sabotaging their vineyards. And I proved there was someone else behind it. The former owner, owner of this vineyard at Crestwood. And once they realized their feud was built on nothing, they stopped arguing, actually had a conversation, and realized they fucking li really liked each other? I, I love it. I love it. Just one thing. It was a, the, for lack of a better term, the straw that broke the camel's back. That no, that 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 doesn't, that doesn't work in this situation. This is literally the exact opposite of that. Instead of things getting too out of hand, that only one thing would make it go worse. This was. Uh, there was only one thing keeping everything, keeping everything going out of hand constantly. Like we. In, instead of opening the floodgates, we dammed up the river. What's the surprise? Some new monster I need to kill? No, something far more pleasant. We've produced a wine. According to the best sommeliers, it might just dethrone Est Est. We owe this success to you. So... If you'd agree... We'd like to name it after you. What shall we call it? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We get a wine named after us. Now, in my previous playthrough, I believe I called it the Butcher of Lapis. I know this because we still have some in our inventory. I'm not just going to call it that. That's boring. White Wolf Wine? Come on. Why not White Wolf? Wild, with character. It fits perfectly. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like to send a few bottles to your home every so often. I'd be honored. Thanks. No, we thank you. Take care, Witcher. The Grapes of Wrath stomped! Ha <laughs> ha! Did this correctly. Okay. 
Now we get from that White Wolf, which I guess is a white wine, whereas Butcher of Blaviken would be a red wine. And now I think every five days, a stack of this will show up in our, uh, in our larder. Okay. I mean, sure, I could go and play fucking Gwent uh, back in the main map. And then... So our next destination will actually be Corvo Bianco before we go to the port. Thank you, thank you. Was that yes, it was. Necessary? Fuck off, traveler. And our knights, what are they? Chop liver? We still have a lot of time on our Also, Victor's Cup. Now we have all three trophies.
Well, I know we need to be wearing a fancy outfit. Oh, Lepiota's lips. My lips are wilting. It's the swordsman. Good to see you. I guess it just happened. Here for a spiffing? <laughs> Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Clean boots, clean soles. A fine slogan. How's business? Well enough. I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. So, yeah, we're here to ask him about Fifth victim, since he was the one who delivered the mask. You know, since it's been so long since I st uh, stepped away from the main mission, I might as well uh, <laughs> explain. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? <laughs> no, no further than that. Just, you didn't ask. Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots. Others had no boots at all. Oh! I know! They uh. all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They picked them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Look around inside. I wonder if you would have mentioned the fact that you were going to be You've got to wear it before going back to game. It just feels like I should stay. You've to move your little camp elsewhere, got it? This is a decent district. We need no filth folk bunning about. Gentlemen, there's no need. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. The shelter. Them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballard. Another defender of the poor. Fighter for justice. Yes. Damn you sense. We for our women and young folk living next door. When even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? 
Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Ah. Hear that, Atwa? Hell yes. He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. <laughs> Thank you, Regis. Thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. You help them, why? Because they need help. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh... Wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. Hmm. Hey, pot up there. Hey, we're the ones with food. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief, for if you draw it out, your soup will go cold, and we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter, and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got one, too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. Uh, Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you, as he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. 
If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right. Take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time, you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter has ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. So, each of the victims before this was an act that escorted Ziana out of the country and abused her on the way. Each one was to for, for each one, Death Love was told to run away in a specific way that detailed the lack of one of the virtues of Knight of Toussaint. The only one left. There was going to be five because there are five virtues. And the only one that could have come from three was compassion. And based on Siana's conversation with us beforehand, she had determined that her sister didn't care that she was gone and that this lack of compassion which is why she did it. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana. Even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions, ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Sienna murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes. Yes and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you can always ask her yourself. Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. Seems a bit strong, no? She used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her. But I support your lust for the truth. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Coming with? Of course not. I shall await you at Mere Leches Long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind. But I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly cause his death in the end, and now this, atop all that, no, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. 
enough to feed the tykes. For the rest of this, I believe we are going to be saying the sweet words of Christmas. And we have no nothing of empathy her heart is cold. This shard of ice you must tear from her breast. Now curse and snap her neck. Quickly and briefly. Once it is done, then we shall have some rest. Should we have the glasses on for this? It's kind of silly, but... I might... Send the whip away. I'll walk through the city today. And then, well, I don't know how long that'll take. We might do one more cutscene. I don't know if it'll fast forward. Riot. Our duchy values peace and quiet. It's also funny to hear uh, our friend talk so, talk so about someone we actually slept with. Would you squeeze my cluster? that with other games. Are you? It is Le Pavilion. <laughs> this is the song that he wrote. The song he wrote about our quest. Little do they know they'll be punished in pain. They froze in their fear the knight's henchmen and squires, while his bowels set loose. Damned heaven would fire. The witcher cleft him in two lacerated. His neck swing the swine adroitly castrated. With one more caress from the witcher's blade, the knight's guts popped out, his breakfast betrayed. Then he hobbled a pace on his stamp arms like crutches, all for the glory of her grace. The Duchess. Tony messing everything up and to top it all. Hail, fellow. Well met. Uh, well, he actually wrote a song about it. Not a very good one, but it exists. 
I never knew vampire exterminations could be so hard. I've worked up quite the appetite. I've three doublets, none of which are suitable to show myself in. We'll, we'll walk up to where we need to be. And I don't think we're going to do that. That seems like that. I feel like I never really explored. They gave us this huge set piece. And we barely had to go around it. And we took a horse up this Castle, yes, but the city as well. I'd love to visit. Oh, goodness, I'd love to walk around a place like this. Which isn't my chosen chance. leave the glasses on, but I, I feel it's more fitting when he's in fancy dress. I'd have loved to uh, worn our red and black fancy dress that we wore for the party, but uh, this one is specifically an event item, or not an event item, um, a quest item, so we need to be wearing this stuff. Um, okay, let's see about a raid, shall we? We're, we're on our way towards the good ending, which is good. You actually get a few different endings. They even did for the other expansions. You see a lot of games nowadays where... Well, maybe not a lot. I don't know. There, there are some notable games nowadays where... You get different endings, but it comes down to, like, a choice at the end of the game. Game. It may not be everything you do, but a, a few of the things you do along the way actually contribute to whether or not you get the good endings. Right, but yeah, like, in, in the main game, there's a bunch of decisions along the way. Uh, mostly in the third act, I'll give it that, mostly in the third act. Um, there's a bunch of decisions that lead up to whether or not you get a good ending. And you can get one of two good endings. I, I got the Empress ending my first playthrough, and the Witcher ending this playthrough. Both are good endings.
and uh, we got the the good ending in the first expansion, Blood, uh, no, Heart, Hearts of Stone, because I chose to go against uh, the devil. This one, our decisions were along the way, with, mostly when Sienna became a character. Hey, you know what? I think we'll raid into Issa, who's playing some Elden Ring. Um, she doesn't normally stream this early, so good to see her on here. I norm uh, Most of what I've seen her stream she is just chatting, but uh, she'll end up singing, and she has a very excellent singing voice. No idea if she'll do any songs while playing Elden Ring, though. That'll be interesting. But I'll raid in there. Usually... Oh! Or... Or not! Motherfucker. Alright, if that's the case, we're just gonna go to... Lanny Pator, who is playing some Jedi Fallen Order. It's either your end screen, or like a, a BRB. Good decision here. Right, we're going there anyway. No, oh, I think he just started. That must be it. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So... Uh, no stream tomorrow. I will not be here, so I could not. Uh, we will... We will, I guess, finish the game on Sunday? Holy shit. I have a number of games I can play next, but our next big game will be at the end of the month, so... We still have a good number of days before then. Good number of streams before then. But yeah, no stream tomorrow. Well. Okay, that raid works. And until next time, this is the Pirate King, signing off. Have a good night.